April Fools is upon us, and that means respect and maturity are not. Let's get started with the best of dorm room pranks. This first one is a little malicious, and may be better left for frenemies and vendettas. It involves putting baby powder in someone's hair dryer, so after their hair is all fresh and clean and they go to dry it, you get the picture. But that doesn't sound very fun, and here and now you know, we only do fun. Let's move on. Up for some double trouble? This is the perfect prank for all you sophomores who block together on Koro. Try tying multiple door handles together and see how long it takes your friends to think up a creative escape. This works better if you're not on the first floor, but you're all smart kids and already know that. This next prank is easy schmeasy for everyone who has a kitchen and most likely a roll of saran wrap on hand. We've all been stuck with roommates who throw clothes, books, and garbage on the floor. Now it's time to show them who's boss. Take all their stuff, put it on their bed, and go wild with the saran wrap. Then see just how long it takes for them to cut through the saran wrap and throw everything back on the floor just to spite you. This classic tween sleepover favorite just never gets old. Yes, I'm talking about the rude awakening when you put shaving cream on your roommate's hand while they're sleeping, tickle their face with a feather, and then laugh hysterically as they cover their face with it. Topping the list is a classic from the king of pranks. I'm talking about Jim Halpert, ladies and gents, who should serve as the utmost inspiration to all you aspiring pranksters. Mimic his inaugural trick by putting your roommate's stapler, marker, pencil sharpener, whatever, into a jello mold. That's all, folks. Let's go back to the desk with Maggie and Stephanie.